Welcome to Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop with me, your host, Cool Dude Clem. So anyway, for those of you who didn't see the previous video, I found three pieces of hi-fi gear and a skip the other day. And this is one of them. This is what we're going to be taking a look at right now. This is the audio timer. And in the next video, we're going to have a look at the tuner. And in the third video, we're going to have a look at the turntable. But first, let's get this out of the way. So just to recap, like I said before, we've got all the buttons to set it on the front there. And <clears throat> on the back, a couple of switched outlets and whatever that goes to. Let's crack this thing open and let's see what we can find inside. All right. Okay, let's see what's under the hood. Let's see what's inside this box of tricks. Hope I'm not getting in the way. Ah. Grief. There's almost nothing in it. Mind you, I didn't really expect there to be much inside this. That's going to have to be replaced. Surprising, it's not leaking all gunk all over the place, but, uh... Okay, so now you can see a better view of inside of it. Okay, so here is where our mains comes in. We've got our two switched sockets right there. Not quite sure why they have a capacitor across one of them. That's a bit weird. It's definitely not for spark suppression. Pro probably just to filter the mains a little bit. And then of course there's this relay. I believe that's a relay that turns on the switched outlets. We've got that weird ass connector there that I really don't know what that's for. But still. Then there's the main transformer. Control board. And there's another board right there. Underneath that that's got all the buttons and the display on it. I don't think there's, apart from replacing this little battery here, I don't think there's going to be much to do with this. This is the front panel disassembled. Well, here's the front panel itself. We'll be taking a little closer look at that. Oh, something's just fallen out. Uh, better just find that. Uh, what was that that just fell out? Hopefully it was just a screw and nothing important. Okay, there's one of these little connecting pieces. Now, where does that go? I think right in there. Yeah, I think that's where that goes. This is the circuit board for the front panel, and very nice surprise here. Although, shouldn't really much become as much of a surprise considering this thing's age. Fluorescent display. Do you like my fluorescent displays when it comes to things like this? That's pretty much what we got there. I uh, will just take this bit off and let's see what's actually underneath there. Then let's put this all back together and let's see if it works. Well, okay, this is the front bit taken apart as much as I can. Thing is to really see what's behind here because this is just all one molded piece. To really see what's behind here, I would have to peel this label off and I really don't want to do that. So uh, I'm just going to leave it there. I'm just going to put this back on there. Like that. Oh, hang on, maybe it didn't go on like that. It went on like that, didn't it? So I'm going to put this all back together. I'm going to warm up the soldering iron, put a new mains lead on it, power it up, and see if it does anything. Okay, I've put a new lead on it. So I'm going to plug this in. I've also got it connected up in series with this light bulb to limit the current just in case something should go wrong. So let's plug this in and see if it does anything. It's flashing E at me. I don't know if that could be because I've taken the battery out or not. I'll just see if anything happens when I press the buttons. Well, it definitely seems to be doing something. It's not very bright. I don't think this display is as good as it once was. I'm just going to fiddle about with the buttons here and see if anything does anything. Like, looks like that part's working. I can get the clock working anyway. Uh, 
I say that and I cannot get this off adjust mode. Oh, there we go. It's not actually 4.06, I've just put in some random time there. I'm not entirely sure how to use this. But, I think that is working. Okay, so now we can test the timer. Now I think I've got this set up right. I've got one of the switched outlets plugged into this. So, the only thing that this is going to get power from is the outlet on this timer. And I've set the switch on this tape deck to play, so when this gets powered, it should automatically go into play. And I've set this timer to come on at 9.32, which is 21.32 because it's 24 hour timer. Now if I press this manual on and off button, I can actually turn this tape deck on and off manually through this timer. So let's do that. There it is, all the map goes into play. Press this again, it will turn off. Now I think to make the timer work, I think I have to press timer control. So, there we go, timer control. Now I don't know if this will set the alarm off or not. But I'm pretty sure this will work. Now to set the timer, I can set the on time here, like this. And we've got like four timers here. So there's the off time, 21.33. And you saw that I'd set it to come on at 21.32. So let's just go through all these others. All right. So brace yourselves. Less than a minute to go. Will this come on and turn the tape deck on? I sure hope so. This will be a pretty crappy video. Waiting and waiting. I'm going to pause the video until it gets to the right time. Any second now. Here we go. Look at that, it worked. I'm a genius. I figured it out without even having to look at an instruction manual. And now we've got some nice blues music playing. So when this gets to 21.33, it should turn itself off. Hopefully, if I've got this all done right. We can kind of count the seconds on the tape there. Although I don't know what the counter was when it started though. So any minute it's going to turn itself off. Don't know exactly how many seconds we've got to go. There we go. So anyway, that's just about it for this video. So until next time, when we take a look at the tuner, goodbye.